The 30-year-old actress filed for divorce on Monday. An added blow to a devastating week for Johnny after his mom dies just three days before she files for divorce. And it would be unbelievable, unbelievable um, to imagine that either I'm in A, a secret fake club, or B, I've had... Um, a secret what? I've had swap, a secret fight club, or that I have been plotting to do this for the, you know, for three years, and while well, taking pictures of it, and documenting it, just saving it up for the right time when I'm not asking for any money and have nothing financial to gain from it. That no one is going to believe that. No one. But Amber shows no remorse, demanding she receives spousal support from her movie star ex. With Pirates alone rumored to have netted Johnny $95 million. All money that Amber will now likely be entitled to. Amber is asking for spousal support, but Johnny's legal team has already responded by asking a judge to reject this claim. An extortion letter to Johnny's team. She demanded three of the multi-million dollar penthouses with all expenses and utilities paid for, including the one Raquel and Josh Drew had been living in rent-free. She also demanded the Range Rover and $50,000 a month with such monthly expenses like $10,000 a month for gifts, vacations, and entertainment, and $2,000 a month for clothes. Amber Heard has apparently dropped her request for $50,000 a month in temporary spousal support from Johnny Depp. It's a divorce, now a restraining order. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paul Majors. And I'm Pat Harvey. Actor Johnny Depp was slapped with a restraining order today after his estranged wife, Amber Heard, shows up in court with bruises on her face. Smiling and laughing just 24 hours after accusing the Hollywood star of abuse. Doug Stanhope, where he says Amber blackmailed the star. The comedian and his wife spent the day of the latest alleged assault with Johnny. He recalls, We assumed initially that his dour mood was because of his mother's death the day before. But he opened up in the most vulnerable of ways that it was not only his mother, but that Amber was now going to leave him, threatening to lie about him publicly in any and every possible duplicitous way if he didn't agree to her terms. Your fucking people are trying to kill me. You've turned me into a... My boy has to go to school. My boy goes to school and has kids go, so your fucking dad's a wife beater? You don't think about that, Amber. Now, Vanessa Parody has allegedly written a letter explaining why she believes Amber's allegations are outrageous. In all the years I have known Johnny, he has never been physically abusive with me, and this looks nothing like the man I lived with for 14 wonderful years. Lily Rose Depp is defending her dad. My dad is the sweetest, most loving person I know. She follows up the Instagram shot with a snippet from People magazine, which says that police found no evidence of a crime from Amber's May 21st domestic abuse claim. Amber herself was arrested for domestic violence. Uh, a few years back with her uh, with her partner. With her domestic uh, partner. We, we broke this story this morning on the website, and somehow this thing got completely buried. Amber Heard's arrest in Seattle for domestic violence. And what happened was she's right, at the was with her domestic partner, because Tasha they were, They're at the airport. According to Tasha, what she apparently she complained to police about this, and they were there. Um, Tasha got in an argument with Amber. Amber argued back, and Amber then grabbed her arm, hit her arm, broke her pendant, and uh, she got arrested for domestic violence, taken to jail, booked, had to spend the night in jail. But ultimately, the prosecutor said, "Hey, you guys are both from California. Both California. Let's go back." Now, Tasha has come out and said that uh, this has been overblown and that it wasn't that bad. And furthermore, she's made some remarks uh, about the police uh, who were involved in that incident and called them uh, insinuated, or not even insinuated, said that they were there was a hint of homophobia. No, hint of misogyny, misogyny and they were and homophobic. homophobic. But what one thing we found we out... We know who the officer is, yeah, the arresting we officer. We found out the arresting officer in this case is a openly gay woman. She has a girlfriend that she's posting Instagram pictures with. That's that's one of her <laughs> pictures. It seems it's really almost unlikely like she that... knew or di or or just didn't even think. Well, almost. She thought she nobody said it. nobody's gonna know who this arresting officer is. So exactly. <laughs> Johnny Depp.
a defamation lawsuit that Johnny Depp filed against the Sun um, in England, claiming that they defamed him when they wrote an article calling him a wife beater. So he is suing them, saying, I am not a wife beater. I'm going to prove I'm not a wife beater. He has submitted legal documents, he says, that prove he didn't hit her. Did it affect your career when, when you stepped in the open world and you wrote this letter? I mean, your ex-husband is a famous uh, actor, Johnny Depp. Did that affect your career? Oh, yeah, of course, it's still to this day. Your ex-husband uh, recently said in a GQ interview in a magazine, this is not true, that this, this didn't happen. So the fight continues, goes on. Um, you know, I can't speak about that. Two years after the divorce, Johnny Depp is now suing ex-wife Amber Heard. The shocking emergency room photo was taken on March 8th, 2015. Johnny was partially sedated for pain. On Depp's right cheek is what he claims is a burn mark caused by Amber, who he says put a cigarette out on his face. E.T. has obtained the new court documents that have Depp's side of the story. The claims? Amber flew into a rage, allegedly upset because Johnny wanted a post-nuptial agreement. Amber threw a bottle at Johnny. It smashed against his hand, fracturing bones and basically chopping off the tip of his finger. His lawyer is getting ready for a fierce legal battle, telling E.T. they've got 31 eyewitnesses, 87 surveillance videos, time and date stamped photos, all of which they believe prove Johnny's innocence. Now, Sarah, though, I want to go to you first. You saw Amber on the day she filed for divorce, two days after this alleged phone incident. Tell me what you saw. Correct. I happen to live in the building where Amber Heard was living with Johnny Depp, and she currently continues to live. And although I don't like to talk about my neighbors on air, I do make an exception for justice. Uh, in this case, you know, she's had multiple contacts with various people who work in the building, face-to-face uh, -face with no makeup on. I know that she did for a fact on Monday, the day she filed for divorce, and on Wednesday, five days after the incident, and two days before she sought the restraining order, and there were no marks on her face. Wednesday, May 25th, 2016, two days before making her first public appearance since the May 21st incident, look closely at Amber as Whitney boards. She puts something, some object, in her mouth to hold it while she fumbles through her bag as the others continue to hold the door for her and wait. Once Amber has found what she's looking for, apparently something to eat, she attempts to take a bite, but as she raises the food to her mouth in her seemingly confused state, she actually forgets that there's something already in there that she's biting down on, holding with her teeth, preventing her from taking the bite, something she had just placed in her mouth mere seconds ago. Melanie steps forward to attempt to help Amber pick through the parts of it she doesn't seem to like, not meaning this as an insult, but almost like a mother tending to a picky toddler who doesn't like their meal. As she carefully helps Amber pick through her food, Amber takes a piece of it and just throws it over her shoulder onto the floor. When the doors open on the mezzanine level, Amanda de Cadenet peeks out and looks both ways as if to see if the coast is clear. She stands in the hallway while others hold the door open as more discussion is had. Amber attempts to step forward, looking confused as to whether she is getting off at this point. Amanda gets back on the elevator as they've decided now to go down to the first floor, which houses the main lobby. Amber would appear in public two days later outside of an L.A. County court. There is also breaking news tonight about Amber Heard's nasty divorce from John. Court documents just released shed light on why Amber's deposition apparently went off the rails, and it is also raising concerns over her state of mind. The words to describe Amber are succinct and brutal. Maniac. Irrational. Amber accused of hysterically crying, of screaming. Depp's attorney, Laura Wasser, in court papers filed yesterday, accused Amber of refusing to go on the record to testify at all. Instead, she allegedly sat with her lawyers and cried on the telephone, yelled, screamed, and paced in a separate room. Wasser claims she could clearly see Amber through a glass door, hysterically crying and pacing. She claims her was screaming and yelling at times and laughing at others and that she appeared manic and irrational. Did the bottle you refer to, uh, did it ever touch your body? No. Um, did the wine glass you refer to, in reference to the bottle, ever touch your body? Uh, pieces of it did, um, it's, it shattered. Okay. 
uh, where did the pieces you say touched your body touch your body? What part of your body? I don't remember exactly what part of my body was touched by um, the glass breaking upon impact. I do know that it touched my body, uh, knees and hands. Um, and your body. What part of your body? I don't remember exactly what part of my body was touched by um, the glass breaking upon impact. I do know that it touched my body, uh, knees and hands. Uh, no, not my hands, my knees anyway. Um, and I, and I, I said some, you know, um, comment to him, I don't remember what it was, and walked into the bed bedroom, grabbed my, to grab my toothbrush, things like that that I don't keep in, the, in my closet room and in doing that um, we had more of a more of a fight it was um, pushing um, uh, I, I put my hands up like this once um, let the record reflect uh, the witness is raising her hands above her head you're interrupting her she's being videotaped don't don't interrupt her please she's she's telling her story go ahead um, yeah I, I don't want to put my hands up and um, he did this, pushed them down, and squared off to me, bumped his chest into mine. I kind of like fell back a little bit onto the bed. I stood back up um, and um, tried to tried to get walk past him to the door. At some point, I end up on the floor. Um, I don't. Uh, he walks out. Um, I tried to actually, even at that point, say, don't walk out. Like, maybe we just need to talk about it. You know, can we just take a break? Um, and then just talk, because it's my birthday. And I don't want to wake up on my, you know, my birthday. We have, we've had a million of these fights. Let's just, just don't, like, I don't, don't want to wake up on my birthday but by myself. Don't. Uh, go, please. Amber, angry that Johnny was late to her birthday party, punched him in the face, threw his phone and wallet off the balcony, and after he escaped her, she left poop on his side of the bed. Okay, before we get to the injuries, let me just ask you about what you say happened with Miss Till Tillett Wright. Sure. Was she on the phone during all of this? Um, yes, but at the time I wasn't sure because the phone, after it impacted my face, fell on the, on the ground. Okay. Isn't it true that, uh, Ms. Hurd, you yelled to Tillett Wright to call 911? I, I don't remember yelling that. Um, I'm sure. Um, okay. I, 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 I'm sure I, uh, I, I yelled, help, help. Uh, I don't know. It was traumatic. Isn't it the truth, Ms. Hurd, that you swore in your declaration at line 11, page 3, that I then yelled out, quote, Call 911, end quote. Yeah, then I, then I said that. This was taken immediately after, and it's been a while. I, uh, he's yelling at me, he's screaming uh, about, uh, about my, about, let's see how hard I hit you. And, um, and, I, and I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. Okay. Um, help, help, please help. I, I guess I say call 911. I'm screaming for help, not just in case Io is on the phone, which I don't know because the phone is somewhere after hitting my face. I don't know where it ricocheted and bounced off to, but it's on the floor. I can only hope she's on the line, but I know and guess security is somewhere, and even though they never respond when I'm screaming help, ever. I'm screaming, help, as loud as I can. I had also text Rocky previous. It's amping up. He's getting crazy again. Please, just, I need you to come over. Because I thought another third party might be, um, a third party being present helps always to, um,
any time prior to May 22, 2016, did you ever commit an act of domestic violence against Johnny Depp? Calls for a legal conclusion and irrelevant, but go ahead. Do you understand what I'm asking you? No. No? Yes, I understand what you're asking okay. me. And prior to May 21, 2016, or May 22, 2016, is it your testimony that you never committed any act of what would be considered domestic violence against Mr. Depp? Calls for legal conclusion and irrelevant to these proceedings. I did my, I, uh, no, I did my best to defend myself and not, not, um, not, not get seriously hurt. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. I fucked up last night, I'm not going to defend myself, but I also can't blame like, me going to the finish line, and that's always where you drive it. Translation, I hit you because you make me do it. I'm not going to defend myself for hitting you again, but when I do, I'll say it's your fault for making me so angry. Um, many times when we fought, um, well, not many times, uh, he hit me um, for a very long time before I ever um, I'm picked up my arms. I'm going to non-responsive and move to... I haven't even been able to have like a fight with you beyond in any real talking, kind of speaking context in so long because anytime anything goes wrong, you split. I feel like it's your first thing. And it's unnecessary. It's not always uh, you're splitting because there's blows or because there's yelling or anything. You split many, most times, when I'm still speaking in this volume and nothing has been thrown or hit or anything. I know I can change certain things that are hurting you. Tim, I'd like you to listen to what I'm about to play. Would you do that? Johnny, whenever he was injured or touched at all, we re referred to it in these ways of punching or clocked or whatever. And whether you didn't discuss it with him or not, the last thing you do in, in talking to him afterwards or trying to reconcile with him is to get into what the definition of those words mean to him. Just say what So happened. I just never, I never even addressed it. He would, if he was ever pushed, it was, it was a quote. He called it a, a cold clock. I mean, it's just very dramatic. Because you because you started physical fights? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Every single time. What, 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 what's your excuse when there's not a physical fight? Then what's the excuse there? You're still being admirable, right? Just by running away? In September of 2015, you punched Johnny Depp in the face with a closed fist. Mm. By all means, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. Did you ever no. punch Johnny Depp with a closed fist in the history? Do you believe you're an abuser? Do you believe you abused me physically? Do I physically believe, I mean, do I believe I physically abused you? Yes. Do you know I'm 115, well, not anymore, but I was 115 pounds. I'm that's a 115 pound woman and you're going to say I have the capacity to abuse you? That's not the question. That's not the question. Have I ever been able to knock you off 
off of your feet. You started. Off your balance. You started these you things. Are, you are, you're going to get up on the stand, Johnny, and say she started it. Really? Tell Johnny trying hard to keep the con going while Amber starts to lose it. Amber's getting pissed off. This guy's unfortunately, yeah. So and my dad only hit him once. We had an altercation. I don't blame him. Can't believe all of this. You. <laughs> Amber's a, a, a woman now. Dabby. She's a lady. About to turn four at uh, 30. <laughs>
I'd like to see reactions from scientists. I mean, and physicians who are you know familiar with kind of you know uh, this sort of trauma, this sort of um, thing. Because I'd I'd love to see her explain how someone hits a wall, and if they put their fist through it, that means that it's. And she admits to me, she threw first, she threw a bottle on me, she hit first, and she admits to also that she hit him first. She actually hit him in the face. Must be on the other side, on the other side, she knows exactly what she's doing. She knows exactly what she's doing. No, I'm saying Amber, she does. She's not a fool. Yes. Okay. Amber, I, I lost a fucking finger, man. Come on. I had a fucking, I had a fucking, a mineral can, a jar, a can of mineral spirits thrown at my nose. You can please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the see what the jury and judge thinks. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I, I'm a victim too of domestic violence, and yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. And see how many people believe or side with you. It doesn't matter if it's a fair, fair fight, my ass. Any comments, Amber? Nothing. <laughs> Fighting the good fight. Exactly, because you're, big, you're bigger and you're stronger. Hey, Amber. Hi. Hi there, how are you? How's your foot? What happened? You should see her. <laughs> oh, no. And you know what, Amber? Thank you. This is my, no, this is me. This is me saying, I tried. And thank you, and I will see you in fucking court. You don't want to fucking make nice nice? I'm trying. I'm trying, but you know what, you, I loved you for so many fucking years, but you know what, you didn't exist, you don't exist, you're not there, you're not there, you were a fucking made up thing in my head, and I, uh, I can't believe you're doing this to me, stop. I can't believe it, there's no need to be cruel on top of it, you've been nothing but cruel, and I'm going to court with you, I might, I'm, I'm you have no, not let up. You keep blaming. No, what you just said. What you just said to me. What you just said to me. You're defending yourself against me about something I didn't fucking do, and I'm not gonna fight with you because I know this shit lasts forever. I did it. I did it. 